welcome back. You're watching ED Inside. India has one of the highest shop densities in the world, which translates to 12 million kiranawalas in a country with 209 million households. That's why the government isn't too keen on foreign investment in retail. Just the same, some mom and pop stores aren't taking things for granted. They're getting up to take big retail head on. Lakshmi Subramanian gets you the story. face of it, it's just another working day for Vijay Prakash Jain, who heads the Bharatiya Vyapar Udyog Mandal in Delhi. But what he's trying to achieve is extraordinary. He's trying to convince Kirana Walas to use the power of collective bargaining to beat modern retail. The thinking is that even if a few lakh members form a cooperative to source products and share infrastructure like logistics, storage and billing, they could give biggies like Walmart and Tesco a run for their money. हम लोग एक पर्टिकुलर एरिया से लेके और नेशनल लेवल तक इन लोगों को हम संगठित करके इनकी लॉजिस्टिक्स से रिक्वायरमेंट को टोटल पूल करेंगे डाटा को पूल करेंगे और क्या क्या रिक्वायरमेंट है उसके हिसाब से बल्क बाइंग हम बड़ी बड़ी कंपनियों से लेंगे और यहाँ तक भी हमें अगर इंपोर्ट करने की जरूरत पड़ी वो मालों को भी इम्पोर्ट करके फिर हम उनको प्रोवाइड करेंगे एट ए चीपर एंड कॉम्पिटिटिव रेट If that happens, member Kirana Walas can offer products at competitive prices. Today, these mom and pop stores have no bargaining power and many of them flock to supermarkets and hypermarkets to source products. But that's a short-term solution. Most storekeepers realize that if FDI is permitted, they run the risk of being wiped out. Multinational company is one thing that happens. The small Lagu Guru is one thing that happens. The whole thing is going to kill everyone. From 100% coming, this is the retail sector. The small trader is going to be completely finished. The market will be needed. If someone wants to buy from the retail sector, they will be able to buy from the retail sector. They will be able to buy from the retail sector. They will be able to buy from the retail sector. They will be able to buy from the retail sector. They will be able to buy from the retail sector. They will be able to buy from the retail sector. They will be able to buy from the retail sector. They will be able to buy from the retail sector. They will be able to buy from the retail sector. They will be able to buy from the retail sector. They will be able to buy from the retail sector. They will और पर्चर करने के बाद वो लो राइज में बेचती है पूरी दिल्ली की जैसा ये बताए देंगे हिसाब करते हैं हर स्टोर की तो मंदा आता है तो थोड़ा बहुत मंदा बेचते हैं तो हम लोग उतना मंदा बेच नहीं पाते But are these fears overstated? According to a survey on 2020 unorganized small retailers across major cities by ICRIR in 2007, the average rate of closure of small businesses is only 4.2%. And only 1.7% of these closures were on account of competition from organized retail. And a recent BCG analysis shows that unorganized retail, which is currently estimated at $397 billion, will touch $984 billion by 2020, even if FDI is opened up. That's because these stores have the advantage of being closer to the shopper. The mean distance to a Kiranawala is 1.1 kilometers compared to 2.6 kilometers for an organized store. In fact, 64% of small stores were within a radius of 500 meters. I believe that you know the small retailer actually has a very efficient business model. It caters to the convenience factor, which is the top priority for the consumer, and therefore that is something which organized retail cannot duplicate. The second big advantage is the system of credit. 35% of Kiranawalas give cash credit to customers. As much as 21% of their sales come from cash credit. And then they have experience to bank on and can cater to changing customer preferences. Indian um, mom and pop stock store owners are uh, extremely efficient in the way that they operate. They provide excellent service. So I think, you know, they've got, they've got a they got a very strong position. And to strengthen that position further, many of these stores have ramped up services since organized retail started expansion. 53% have added new product lines, 56% increased the number of brands, 60% concentrated on improving display, 34% introduced self-service, 38% revamped their store completely and 25% improved their home delivery services. And modern retailers have a long way to go to beat that. हम लोग तो पहले से होम डिलीवरी देते हैं, डिस्काउंट देते हैं। उन लोग को जो कॉन्सेप्ट अभी ला रहे हैं, हमारे बाप दादाओं ने सिखा के गए। हम लोग को ट्राई कर रहा है, उसी के साथ कंपलीशन में पूरा स्वास्थ्य देने से कस्टमर यहाँ आएगा। Previously our main focus was on general provisions. Now we are focusing on beauty products also, like cosmetic section. We have increased the cosmetic range because this is the demand of the youth. Many Kiranawalas have also adopted technology to improve their businesses. 
Many of them now offer computerized billing, have credit card machines, refrigerators, freezers and electronic weighing machines. Medium to large stores now have computerized accounting and inventory control. And many of them are discovering that they can run profitable businesses by sourcing from wholesale cash and carry stores. The FMCG consumer product companies tend to distribute products well. But when it comes to non-consumer product, and especially in food, uh, most of the local storekeepers have to go necessarily to a mandi market to source products. Uh, with the availability of cash and carry stores and with better mandis available today, many of them have helped to be able to improve their supply chain. While most studies point out that unorganized retail need not fear the big boys with deep pockets, there is a unique problem that the Kirana Wala faces. If you ask me what is the biggest threat to their existence or that system over a period of the next 5, 10, 15 years is the fact that the next generation of them, of their sons and daughters are not willing to follow in the same trade. They, they have more aspirations. They want to do something bigger and better than what their parents have done. So I think that supply side I think is going to be a, a constraint for, for the Kirana Wala. And that means as of now the bigger threat for Kirana Walas is not from outside but from within. Add to that dwindling margins, rising competition and high inflation and what you have is the perfect recipe for a disaster. But the humble Kirana Wala can't be written off just as yet. He best knows the pulse of the market and can adapt his business to the changing environment faster than one could say foreign direct investment. And that is his winning card. But retail is no child's play, especially when it comes to supply chain. Here's where foreign money and know-how can make a huge difference. That story and more is coming up after the short break. Stay with us.